Hello guys, Derek Mikulski from Long Exposure Photography magazine, LE Mag. Welcome to the third episode of Talking Pictures. Today uh, I'm going to present to you an image uh, by Roy Fraser. Roy is a landscape photographer based in Poole in Dorset in the UK and the image we're going to talk about shortly is Hokkaido study number 14. This image. Just move myself a little bit. We're going to show it later on in detail. Um, Roy has traveled to Japan to Hokkaido in January this year 2020, uh, so just before the lockdown and uh, the outcome of this uh, trip that he calls trip of the lifetime is uh, his uh, book called Hokkaido um, uh, containing uh, 70 uh, black and white minimalistic um, images we have that's the book with with those images if you can see them here more of the book on our website where you can buy it um, directly from us now obviously uh, Hokkaido in, uh, in in January is uh, not uh, the uh, most inviting place um, on the planet but uh, Roy seems to be drawn to the, that kind of conditions um, and, and, and is in his element where everything him, around him is remote and harsh um, and uh, it, more of this you can you can read on his uh, website which is www.royfraserphotographer.com uh, and now let me talk about talk you through what took me um, what interested me in 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 this image because uh, there is something that um, here that I like very much in photography uh, it's a it's a seemingly very simple image for greenhouses um, some tweaks or some plants sticking out of the snow and a band of something grey-ish right in the middle now what uh, interested me in this is this juxtaposition of man-made and nature um, a perfect combination of uh, of dark from greenhouses and on uh, white from the snow uh, and also uh, <clears throat> what can be what can be seen here is this uh, order in greenhouses man-made of course order uh, and uh, the randomness of nature that is uh, presented here in those uh, in those uh, sticks uh, or plants taking all this into consideration i think this is this is a very well captured image uh, very uh, i think it's very important for the for understanding also of uh, of uh, uh, human activities there um, and also of uh, of the way roy is is looking at his images and and, and his objects and subjects and and how he want what he wants to um uh, portray in his images now there is one thing that I I'm not sure about in this image and that was also something we discussed with Roy and it would be lovely if you guys could say something about it how you think about it what do you think whether I'm right or I'm wrong now if it's supposed to be minimalistic images which of course it is um, that band in the middle of the image uh, is quite baffling I would be tempted to remove it in post-production um, it's um, natural but for me uh, as a photographer a disturbing border between one and the other word of, uh, of, of constructed by humans and the word of nature however uh, Roy feels that this is exactly what it should be it was there he is not um, interested in, in, in altering 
um, the, the the scene. Uh, so we kind of look at this um, in uh, uh, from two different angles, uh, and and I like this image also because it 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 kind of irritates me that band a little bit. It it, it makes my attention, uh, you know makes me more attentive to, the, to, to, to this image when I, when I look at it. It really would be great to see, to hear from you, what you think, what is your opinion, whether uh, you would... It's, it's not about who's right or who's wrong, because obviously that's not the point here, but whether you would uh, remove that, or you would, like me, or you would keep it like, like Roy uh, did. Um, That's about this image, and I hope uh, you liked it as much as I do. Uh, I do um, invite you to visit Roy's uh, website. He's got loads of fantastic images there. Um, also to uh, get the book uh, from us, which is really a nice addition to, um, to any uh, uh, library, uh, personal li library. Uh, once again, a big shout out and thank you to Permajet for supplying the paper. And uh, uh, next... Uh, uh, episode of Talking Pictures, I will be discussing um, an image called Serpent Lake by Irish photographer Charlie O'Donovan. All the best to you guys. See you next time.